What's going on Jets fans? Welcome into NYJ Today. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the Swiss Army Knife wide receiver out of Florida, Kadarius Tony. Let's get after it. Okay, to start the video off, we're just going to kind of take a look at his college career and his draft profile. So we're going to start with he is a six foot tall, almost 200 pound wide receiver. So he's got very good size. And for somebody his size, he moves around very, very well. He's very quick and he's very fast on the football field. Um, so he's played four seasons at Florida. Um, and you can see that the most production that he came up with was in his final year at college. Um, 984 receiving yards, 10 touchdowns, and he also contributed on the ground, 19 carries, 161 yards. Um, so it is a little bit concerning to see that he didn't produce, you know, in the other seasons that he played. Um, I think that a lot of that has to do with having missed time. He didn't play every game in his freshman year. He didn't play every game in his junior year. Um, so that's a factor to consider. And just also the fact that, you know, his role was still being clearly defined. Um, by his senior year though, he was obviously ready and he exploded onto the scene. Um, so another thing that I really like about when I'm looking at his college career is that he, um, contributed with rushing throughout his entire, uh, time at college football. Uh, so 14 carries his, uh, freshman year for 120 yards, 21 and 240 his sophomore year, 12 and 59 in his junior year. And then this past season, um, 19 carries 161 yards on the ground. Um, honestly, when you look at the tape of him playing, I'm surprised that there wasn't more, um, there wasn't more of an effort for the, uh, for the Florida Gators to get him touches running the football because he's very, very good at it. Um, out of the backfield, jet sweeps, reverses. Um, he pretty much does it all. So I'm actually quite surprised they didn't use him more out of the backfield and on running plays. Um, but we're going to take a look at that um, in the game tape as we move forward. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to note in our review of this game tape is that people are salivating at the idea of having this guy in their offense because of his ability to make plays after the catch, after the ball is in his hands, and he absolutely can stop on a dime. And this is a really great example of that. Um, he's making people miss with pretty much relative ease. Um, and the thing that I love about this guy, and we're going to see this a couple of times, is he's actually quite physical, um, even given the size. You know, he's not a huge guy, but he almost always lowers his head, lowers his shoulder uh, to get contact and to get extra yards. So everything about this play, I just love. Um, he's very physical and again, very, very elusive. Okay, so we see Kadarius here lined up as a running back out of the shotgun formation. And you see all of the qualities here. You see him being elusive, avoiding tacklers. You see him using his physicality to stiff arm defenders and to lower his shoulder before going out of uh, out of bounds. Excuse me. Uh, there was a Jets player a long time ago named Santana Moss that we used to always complain about how he used to get out of bounds so quickly. This dude does not do that. He is physical. He's going to make his presence known and just makes big plays. You know, he doesn't. It doesn't really take much uh, room for him to get going. All right, on this play, you're going to just see Kadarius taking a reverse handoff and just making dudes look silly, just completely juking all over the field here. Um, he makes like four people miss on this play. Um, he's truly special, truly dangerous in the open field, and I just love the idea of having the Jets having somebody like this uh, to have this aspect of their offense um, on a week-to-week -week basis because right now we don't have people to use um, for this type of, um, for this type of play. All right. On this play, we're just going to see a simple wide receiver screen here. Uh, but again, you see the ability once he gets into, or excuse me, gets the ball in his hands, he's able to make people miss. He's able to break tackles and he's just super tough. You know, he's just not going to go down easily. He's going to fight for every yard. Um, he breaks two tackles there to get into the end zone inside the red zone. Um, he's making a big play for his team. And, you know, the, the red zone is such a huge part of winning and losing in the NFL. We could really use somebody to make uh, big plays happen. All right, this is probably my favorite play in the entire video here. 
Um, I counted it at about six or seven defenders that were in the area that could have potentially made a play on Kadarius here. And he just eludes a tackle, a couple of tackles, I should say, and just gets in the end zone. I mean, this dude is ridiculous after the catch. Once he has the ball in his hands, you better say your prayers and you better hope that you can bring him down because the dude is going to get it done. Okay, this is a great example of his versatility. So he's actually in motion pre-snap. He shows that he's going to be a wide receiver, but then quickly motions to the backfield, takes a handoff in the shotgun formation here. And if you notice, he's got a lot of patience. He actually is kind of looking and reading the defense and then kind of kicks it outside here. Let's follows his blockers. Um, and again, like I mentioned earlier, this dude is not going to just scamper out of bounds to avoid contact. He is a contact beast. He's going to find the end zone here. He's going to spin move to stay in bounds and just makes a big play again inside the red zone. We need players that can score touchdowns in the red zone. And this dude can. Okay, so small little complaint here, a little critiquing. It's not really a knock on the guy. Uh, when I did watch his um, tape, I did notice that he does have a tendency to want to reverse the field. And although it works on this play and it does seem to work in the college level, um, this is not going to be effective in the NFL level. Uh, reversing your field is not smart. There are better athletes in the NFL and also they just play better defense. They're going to keep, or excuse me, they're going to maintain their lanes. They're not going to be over pursuing here. And Kadarius does take advantage of it. Um, he does show that his lateral quickness is exceptional. Um, but again, I don't love the fact that he's reversing fields here. He can get that coached out of him at the NFL level. So again, this is really just a small complaint that I saw um, in his tape. All right, this is one of my favorite plays again of the video. Um, I want you to watch his footwork. I want you to watch how he runs this route. It's very, very precise. And you can see that he's creating about two, three yards of separation here just by running a clean route. Um, again, this is not just a one trick pony kind of guy. He's not going to be just doing reverses or wide receiver screens. Um, this is a dude that has it all. He can run his routes um, clean and effectively to create separation and to create an easy window for the quarterback to throw into. So we've seen it in other plays and we've talked about it. He is a physical dude. He is not looking to go out of bounds. He's not looking to go down on the ground. Um, once he gets the handoff here, he is just off and running. He's got great blocking, but again, pay attention to what he does once there's contact. He's fighting for yards, and he makes that edge defender look absolutely ridiculous. He had no shot at tackling Kadarius in the open field. He is an absolute beast in the open field. And again, keep in mind, this is not just a receiver. This is a running back. This is a versatile piece that you can use all over the field. All right, so we are looking at um, another play here where Kadarius is showing that he can be not just a gadget guy. He is an outside receiver as well, and he wins completely on this route. He's got he's wide open here, and um, this is against Alabama. This is not some weaker conference uh, opponent that he's doing this against. This is against the best of the best and just totally cooks this guy. Very, very impressive to see him doing this on the outside at the wide receiver position and just totally burning um, his. All right, this is the final play of the video. And again, I just want you to pay attention to where he is on the field at the snap. He is on the outside at the bottom of the screen. He's playing the outside position. Um, he catches this ball on a seam route in between two defenders. He has to hang on to the football after being hit. Um, so again, just try to prove the point here. This is against Alabama and he's playing a position that we need him to be able to play. We need him to play outside. We need him to play inside. We need him to be a versatile piece to this offense. I absolutely loved what I saw out of Kadarius Tony, <clears throat> excuse me, in this, um, you know, in this review of his tape, he shows all of the abilities, all of the traits that you want out of a receiver and out as a versatile offensive weapon. Um, I loved watching him play. He is an absolute stud, and I'd be thrilled to see him in the green. All right, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my followers on Twitter and one of our subscribers on the channel, Craig Collins. I want to thank you, sir, for recommending that I watch and make this video about Kadarius Tony. I absolutely loved what I saw. So again, I just want to give you a quick shout out and thank you again for the recommendation. 
All right, to wrap up this video, I just want to summarize my thoughts. I think that Kadarius Toney is an absolute home run pick if Joe Douglas decides to select him in the NFL draft. I do think that the Jets should be aggressive in signing him if they don't make a move for a receiver in free agency. Um, he kind of reminds me of uh, a Curtis Samuel that's about to become a free agent in the NFL. So he would fill all of those needs. He's, a he's able to line up in the backfield. He can take those jet sweeps and those reverses and make big plays happen. Um, and we also saw uh, by looking at the tape that he can make big plays on the outside. He can go down the field. He's great intermediate. He's great short games. So I just loved everything that I saw. And I would absolutely think it would be a great idea um, to add him as a weapon to this offense. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching NYJ today. If you could all please let me know what you guys think about Kadarius Tony in the comments, I would greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank you guys for all of the support you've been giving us. Continue to please hit that like button. It does motivate me to continue making content. And also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We are now almost to 200 subscribers. The channel is growing so fast, and I can't thank you guys enough. Go Jets. See you next time.